Hi viewers, this is Rakesh and in this video I am going to draw this mechanical component you can see over here I am going to draw this mechanical component in an AutoCAD 2006 software first open AutoCAD 2006 software and then doing and then by doing this we can get this uh, first I, I am going to draw this one and then by extruding that we can get into an isometric view I mean 3D figure first I am going to draw this figure you can see over here this and then height is about first we have to select line and draw 30 mm length I can right side is 10 and upward is uh, 20 you can subtract from 30 minus 10 you can get 20 and right side is about uh, you can here they mention as 40 we have to mention we have to click 40 and then upward uh, is again 10 and then left side is again they mention 9 and then downwards is 4 and then it is 16 and upward is 4 again and we have, we have to join these two lines I have been completed this and I am going to extrude, extrude this for extruding first enter REG enter region and select objects ask for the select objects and we have to select objects and click enter button so that it appear like this and it is suitable for the extruding first we have to again we have to extrude this for extruding we have to press ext in the command bar and press enter it asks for the select objects we have to select objects and press enter and it asks for the height and here they mention has height height is about 16 mm we have to press 60 and it asks for the taperness there is no ends there is no taperness we have to press 0 enter we have been completed our this portion you can see over here and again i am going to draw this figure for drawing this figure I am changing my view you can see over, see over here I am pressing top view in this and again I am drawing this portion mm. this portion I am going to draw mm. first I have to select line bar and then if they mention a 16 length I am drawing 60 mm. and we have to get this midpoint so that we have to draw this line midline to the 48 in length so that we can get the midpoint here we have to search for the midpoint and choose like a midpoint and we then we have to draw a line of 48 in length and thereby we can get this midpoint and we have to draw two circles over here on the circles of diameter uh, they given they mentioned as diameter we have to convert into radius uh, 632 is the diameter and 16 is the radius and then another circle of radius is 11.5 that is 22 in diameter uh, we don't want this line we are, I am deleting this line and then we have to draw these two tangents for drawing two tangents I am going to the O snap button and clicking on right clicking right right button click on the O snap and then select option settings and they pop up like this like it will appear on your desktop and then we have to clear all and click only tangent button and end point then click ok button thereby we can draw tangents and I am selecting polar button so that the it will show as tangent button we have to click there and then again from here and then click Okay, but uh, we don't need this one. We, I'm trimming this one for trimming. Tr double enter in the command bar and then trim this one. I need. I don't need that one. And then we have to extrude this. For extruding, we have to push region. We have to select region in the command bar and we it asks for the select object. We have to select objects and press enter button. It shows like this and we have to extrude this one. For extruding, press ext in the command bar, press enter and it asks for the select objects. We have to select objects and press enter and it asks for the height and they, they here given here they given height height is about 10 and there is no taperness hence we will press 0 in it and we have been excluded this one and again uh, we have to draw this portion I mean cylinders for drawing cylinders I am going for here and drawing two cylinders two cylinders are diameter how much the given as one is 16 and another one is uh, for it does not show midpoints because we have been 
hastily removed and we have to select all so that it shows midpoint and again another one is about 11.5 uh, then we have to extrude this for extruding we have to press region enter and we have to select objects and it shows like this and we have to extrude this ext enter it, select, it asks for the select object we have to select objects and we have to extrude and they are given 16 length and we have to press 16 and there is no table since we don't need that and I have been completed this extruding you can see over here I am changing my view this Okay, and I am shading my way. This I've been computed, and we have to make this is a hello. For that, I am drawing. I am making it hello. For making it hello, I have to subtract this outer middle one of out of outer. Uh, I am pressing SU enter in the command bar, and then selecting outer one first. I am pressing enter, and then the inner one. I've been created this hello portion, and then we have to join. I think uh, this this one also we don't need and for that we have to press SU enter select the outer one and then select the inner one we have been completed this and we have to join these three power three products for joining we have to draw we have to make this one first into here uh, for drawing, for moving this, we have to press M enter and task for the select object. We have to select this object and we have to enter from here and we have to press there. And thereby, I have been drawn this. Uh, here, they mention as 10 mm in backwards. We have to draw this is in backwards and then we have to move the cylinder. 10 mm downwards and for that we have to select in the first select this object and enter move m enter and it asks for the select uh, specify the base point we have to select this one and in downwards we have to click 10 mm downwards and it has been completed and we have to join this total figure over here for that i am selecting this total object and selecting I am pressing M enter so that it can move and ask for the base point we have to select this base point and, and attach over here end point uh, again we have to change the view in a top view and it shows like this and we have to um, again we have to select this objects for and we have to press enter M enter and we have to specify the base point sorry I have been wrong clicked Again, selecting this one and pressing M enter and specifying the end point and over here. I'm joining over here. Uh, you can see I've been completed the drawing this figure. You can see as it is over here. I've been completed this making hello and this figure has been completed if you like this video please subscribe and give a comment over this thanks for watching bye bye